Givenchy Gentleman Society Extreme. This comes out a year after Givenchy Gentleman Society, but is it better? Should you be buying this fragrance and is it enough of a difference to warrant a purchase? Well, let's discuss this in today's review of the new Givenchy Gentleman Society Extreme. So before I go over this fragrance, let's detail the presentation. This is what the box looks like. The original had a silver reflective finish here. This is just darkened and it does say extreme here. It's Givenchy Gentleman Society is what it says. And then it does say the concentration, which is Eau de Parfum. On the back, a barcode, which you should scan right now, and then tell me what it says in the comments below, please. On the bottom, some information, ingredients, and batch code. But box does not matter. Let's get into the presentation. Which one is which? Okay. With the presentation of Givenchy Gentleman Society Extreme, you're basically just getting a darkened logo. This is the original here, and then this is the Extreme. A little bit more of a gunmetal finish. The original has more of a silver. The bottles are pretty much exactly the same. On the bottom, the sticker is exactly the same, and as you can see, my batch code is 3J01. It was released in 2024, and on the top, you can see the Givenchy logo on the top there. And then as I take off the cap, you can also see that on the atomizer, much like the other release. That's it. Givenchy Gentleman Society was one of my top 10 fragrance releases of 2023. But will the new Extreme be? Well, we're not gonna know until we get into the listed notes. So on Fragrantica, the top notes are Peppermint, Clary Sage, and Nutmeg. The middle notes, Coffee, French Narcissus, Orris Root, Madagascar Vetiver, Haitian Vetiver, and Vetiver. And the base notes, Madagascar, car vanilla, Australian sandalwood, and Himalayan cedar. So that's the notes there. What are the differences in scent profile? Does it warrant a change to the extreme? It's pretty much 90 to 95% the exact same fragrance, which is why I think that this is actually a little bit of an uninspired release. They didn't even change the concentration of this fragrance. Both of these fragrances are Eau de Parfum concentration, except this is an Eau de Parfum extreme, except it does not perform that way, which I will get to in the performance. By scent profile, alone, these are 90 to 95% the same fragrance, which drives me crazy because it's like, what is the point of this release? If it smells like they just took the original and then they're like, oh, let me just change this, screw this in, let me make this a little bit more noticeable and then we'll release it. It just smells like they're like, oh, we're not happy with the original, release it again. What am I getting? What are the changes in this fragrance versus the original? In the new Eau de Parfum Extreme, what I'm getting is an increased Oris or Iris note. It does smell a little bit earthier and it does give off that coffee note. I'm not really getting a coffee note. What I get more of is like kind of like a caramel sweetness or like kind of a chocolatey sweetness, a darkened sweetness versus the original. They're both sweet fragrances. They both start off very, very sweet, but it's interesting because this is exactly the same scent profile that Latafa Hamra went through. The original Latafa Hamra was brighter and then the Latafa Hamra Kawa came in, introduced a coffee note, which wasn't overly present and then gave it a darker sweetness. This is exactly what Givenchy did. So is Givenchy looking at Latafa? I don't know. But why did they release this fragrance? I don't know either. By scent profile alone, I cannot tell you that the extreme will make my top 10 fragrances of this year because it's not adding anything different. It's kind of like they just took the original fragrance, tweaked a little bit where like people were questioning things and then they're like, oh, okay, that's good. A lot of people were questioning if the original had Iris or Oris in there. It's honestly like they just heard the criticism and they're like, okay, so people are questioning if there's Oris or Iris in here. Let's increase that and let's darken the sweetness and increase that as well. That's it. That's literally the difference in scent profile alone. You must be wondering, it's an extreme flanker. What is the difference in performance? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. This is a heavily synthetic sweet scent profile. So for myself, I do get a nosmic or nose blind to this rather quickly, which I did detail in the original Givenchy Gentleman Society review. So it does open rather loud, not as loud as the original society, but it does open pretty much 80% as loud as the original society, but it calms down after about 30 minutes or so, which is pretty much the exact same as the original Givenchy Gentleman Society. You're going to get about one foot of projection for about the first three to four hours. This is kind of where the other Givenchy Gentleman Society sat, but that's when it transitions to 98% the same fragrance, and that's where it starts to disappoint 
me a little bit because it's like they didn't even increase the concentration they didn't decrease the concentration they just tweaked a bunch of different things in the opening and kept the dry down the same when i smell the dry downs of these fragrances, it's almost the exact same the original at this point goes in more of a pencil shavingly vibe whereas the new one kind of goes in a more earthy kind of orris root kind of vibe so the original one stays a little bit more woody towards the dry down the new one stays sweet but also goes in the earthier direction the original lasted me six to eight hours more towards the six hour mark but sometimes i got the eight hour mark out of the fragrance the new one between the five to six hours mark okay so I'm not gonna say that the performance is less I could be having some anosmia issues here but I was averaging that six hour mark before the fragrance disappeared into eternity I think that this fragrance is a very very good fragrance but it is not as much as a difference as I would have wanted they're so crazy close that it honestly just makes this a redundant release they're even the same concentration of fragrance I would have wanted this to be a parfum release I would have wanted this to be even an elixir release and because of that i'm going to give it the exact same rating of an 8.3 out of 10. it's not an extreme flanker you're getting pretty much the same fragrance with some alters and tweaks i absolutely loved the original Givenchy gentleman society honestly it's not much of a change for me to say go out and get one over the other if they're both readily available just get the extreme but i feel like the extreme is probably going to be discontinued i hope you appreciate my honesty here if you do smash that thumbs up button subscribe for more honest fragrance content and also so check out this fragrance right here that I think you're absolutely going to love. Thank you for watching and I'll see you over there.